Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do March readings for all Zodiac signs. Keep in mind that they are general readings, so take what applies, if it applies, it kicks to the curb the rest. Thank you for everybody who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel, put me over 15,000 subscribers, thank you so much. And just a quick shout to let you know that my friend Epps Marsh has just put out a poetry book which will be available March 1st on Amazon. The free download is going to be in the box below, so check him out, March 1st. He's also given a poem for each zodiac sign. This reading is going to be for Pisces. So Pisces, it's going to be loyalty in the snow globe. The love smith. Ooh. So Pisces, let's find out what's going on in March for you. All right, Pisces, it all works out in the end. Let's get right into it. Bottom of the deck, woo. Pisces, you have the lovers, also known as the Gemini card. This is a soulmate connection. It's like no other, Pisces. You can't compare it to anything. The other meaning of this card is life-changing decisions. So, Pisces, let's find out which one that goes to. You have to excuse the dog. Go lay down. I'm doing a reading. Sorry about that. So, Pisces, let's start off with the Four of Pentacles. Now, a lot of people say this is the miser card. Okay, keeping something to yourself. Or trying to keep all your pentacles. But it's also about holding back and not saying something. Not speaking your truth. Not speaking how you feel. And what's crossed by that is a four of wands. This is normally a, known as a marriage card. But it's bringing something to the next level. It's about the structure and stability in a home. Pisces, maybe there is a major decision you have to make that you're not saying, you keep it to yourself, about how you stabilize your home. Could be possibly maybe bringing a partner into your home, bringing something to the next level. Because that's what the Four of Wands also stands for, too. Whether you're dating, you go exclusive, exclusive, moving in. You get the idea, Pisces. But you're not saying something yet. Maybe this idea, you're keeping it to yourself. Now, in your foundation here, Pisces, you have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is taking all your experiences, you know how, your burdens. And moving forward, this guy is going slightly forward. Pisces 10 being at the end of a cycle. This is the end of the struggle. You'll be able to lay down all these wands. Pisces, I think that you're struggling financially in stabilizing a home. And you're trying to manifest something. Because crowning your reading... You have the Magician. Now, he's got all four elements in front of him. As above, so below. Whatever he desires, he creates and brings it to him. He can bring things into a reality. So, Pisces, if this has got anything to do with the structure of a home, that you're trying to manifest something to stabilize yourself, if you are with somebody and you're contemplating bringing somebody in to your home, 
Maybe you're trying to release some of the burdens. Enlighten your load. This also could be you taking on a roommate. For some. To try to release some of the burdens. Because your foundation is the Ten of Wands here, Pisces. And it's a lot of burden. Now, Pisces, in the past, you have the past. This is the Six of Cups, which is about nostalgia. Thinking fondly of the past, maybe when you were kids. Or if you have kids, when they were kids. But they're good memories. They're fond memories. Pisces, maybe you run into somebody from the past or you reconnected with somebody from the past. And you're thinking about if you can bring this to the next level. If you can let go of burdens and bring more structure. You might be thinking how to manifest this. How do you bring this all together? How do you make it work? In Pisces, maybe that's why you're quiet. Financially, mentally, emotionally, I think you're trying to wrap all this in on how you move forward. If this is not a person from the past that you recently engaged with, this could be about things that you've done in the past that maybe you need to tweak or change. But whatever this is that you're trying to manifest and you're trying to keep to yourself, going into the future, you have the Queen of Wands. Now here's fire, passionate, king, queen, it doesn't matter, it's an energy. It's about being motivated. It's about being creative. You know, charismatic. Go get it done. Pisces, maybe in the future, this is somebody who helps you get back on track. Maybe it's somebody from your past that understands what you've gone through in the past and helps you achieve this. If it's not a person, it could be that energy that you're going to take on because if you're going to manifest something, Pisces, about stabilizing a home and what you need to do, you know, to stabilize the home, you best be motivated. Now, how people see you in your environment, Pisces. They see you as the Nine of Swords. And this is agony. This is sleepless nights. This is thinking about something over and over again. And making each scenario worse than the last one. What if this happened? What if that happened? Oh God, then that's going to happen. And then this will happen. Pisces, rein it in. These are thoughts. These worries. These burdens. Worrying is wasted energy. What do you get at the end? Absolutely nothing. So get out of your head. Perhaps take on that motivation of manifesting something. Pisces, you are of intuition. What is your intuition telling you? Don't block what your intuition is, what your intuition is trying to tell you, okay, with negativity. Now, in your environment, Pisces, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. Pisces, just like you can take on the properties, you know, of a fire sign, you can take on the properties of an earth sign. Be methodical, be impractical, be the realist, not sugarcoating anything, seeing things are how they really are. But this person is very practical with their coin. They appreciate the hard work that goes into acquiring it. 
And again, Pisces, if this is not a person in your environment that you're thinking about helping you stabilize or a roommate, you might have a choice of two. Who do you proceed with? Maybe both of them from your past. Pisces, don't repeat old patterns. Okay, to move forward, you got to manifest, you got to create something new. And especially if things didn't work out in the past, you're going right back into that pattern. Manifest something different, Pisces. There is nothing wrong with being fiery and passionate and motivated. And there's nothing wrong with being methodical and practical and seeing things in a real, you know, term. Maybe that's why you're here. Because you're trying to do both. But in your hopes and in your fears, Pisces, Pisces, you have the Four of Swords. Now this is about taking a step back, taking a breath. Reprioritizing and re-strategizing. Pisces, make a plan and even make a plan B. Cover all your corners. Cover all your bases. Because no great war has ever been won without a great plan. So Pisces, nobody fears, you know, making a plan for something. It's definitely a hope. A hope of making a plan, okay, and actually motivated enough to go through with it. Pisces, no matter what this is, if this is you trying to get financially set, if this is you trying to choose how to stabilize or bring something forward from the past, Or if you're trying to be motivated and be methodical and practical the same, put this where it applies. You're going to be okay. Because your outcome card... Way to go, Pisces. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. Intense being at the end of a cycle. Being at the end. Struggles. Whatever you're manifesting, keep going with it. Because this is be being able to pay your bills and having enough left over to... Have a little fun with. So Pisces, make that plan and execute it and follow it. Because the payoff is going to be exactly what's going to relieve all of this. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And don't forget about Epps Marsh, March 1st, the poetry book on Amazon.com. And the website store will be in the box below. Till then, take care.